project that I developed together with Simon Zagorski Thomas and a collective of musicians and artists in Matanzas, Cuba. And the idea was to tr think of an immersive music way of presenting music which didn't involve putting a headset on and isolating yourself by having goggles on your head. We thought, let's think of a low-tech way of doing it. And so what we did was we thought, OK, we'll make musicians play in a square, we'll put four cameras in the middle pointing out, and then we'll, re we'll record all of the instruments individually. I'm a musician, I've played Cuban music all my life. And so for me, Cuban music is the music that I know about, and I'm lucky enough to, to travel to Cuba twice a year. So I went on a, on a trip with Simon. We actually got money from Erasmus to go with our university. And so when we were there, we, we cooked up this project together with some Cuban colleagues. I'm a, a sound engineer and record producer, but I, I, I teach mainly now, but uh, that's what my, my background is. <laughs> had been telling me how fantastic Cuba was and she'd been playing me some fantastic Cuban music. We got the money to go with Erasmus and the idea came out of that and the following year we went back again and recorded this and then we also went back again last year as well so this was 2017. This is the first recording of what we hope are many, but we need to get funding. So at the moment, we don't have our own set of screens and projectors, so it costs a bit of money to put it on. The idea is that we get funding, travel around Cuba with our team, Cuban stroke British team, and record a series of just different musical performances. And we also buy a set of screens and projectors, one for the UK and one for Cuba. And that way we can, we can display all over the UK and also all over Cuba. The goal of this is to is to create a an archiving system of, of but an archiving system that allows you to get inside the music inside the group and to experience the interaction the way that you know this guy is looking at this guy and and that the whole thing is about the communication between the musicians and and the immersive aspect of it just allows you to feel the music in a very different way from a straightforward video. It's much more like being there. So this is the first recording and, and we were really lucky because we managed to, because we were working with a group in Matanzas. Now Matanzas is, is Matanzas and Havana are the two cities where Cuban rumba was born. And it emerged in the, in the solares, the tenement yards of the inner city. And so this is a tenement yard in the middle of Matanzas with really the top rumba group in, in Cuba, Los Muñequitos de Matanzas. So we were really lucky to work with them and take them to the solar where they had memories of growing up with their, grand, their grandmothers living there and learning how to play rumba in this very area. So not only were they an amazing rumba group, but we also took them to their home, to the home of rumba, and they were playing there. So. You see in the video, you see people popping in to come and see a friend or to, and, and interacting with the rumbo. It's a very natural part of everyday life in, in the in inner city Matanzas. I think music is very much a part of everyone's everyday life there and, and rumba was born really as a way that people living in the slums of the city found to amuse themselves on a Saturday by, by playing on, on cupboards, on tables or boxes and, and singing and dancing. Um, I don't think you can separate music from, from what goes on in society, it's all interlinked, especially in somewhere like Cuba. <laughs> So if anyone wants to get involved or help us or do their own projects that do use the same format, um, we'd be really happy to talk to people and to, um, uh, and to help out. <laughs>